Today we're going to see how to do an oil change on a Kia Sedona. Goes for Kia Sorento as well as uh, other Kia models with the V6 engine. All right, once you put your car on the ramps, make sure you have a wheel chuck in the back. Um, that, and here we go, open the hood. And the first thing you would do is make sure that your engine oil reservoir cap is off. Because if you can't get that off and if you drain the oil, you won't be able to fill it back up. So here it's a 17 millimeter plug, break it loose. All right, now pull the plug out and drain the oil, catch it in a pan securely so we can dispose it safely. Now we put the new crush washer in, so every oil change is recommended to change that washer and you half crush it when you install it. All right, so once the oil is drained, put the oil plug back in and tighten it just snug, don't over tighten. And this is a canister style. Got a 27 millimeter um, nut. It's got a 27 millimeter head right on it so that uh, you can unscrew, and inside is a canister style oil filter. Let it drain a little and then pull it out. Alright, so this is the canister filter we are going to be using S11934XL from STP Extended Life. And I'll put the link in the description so you can pick it up from Amazon if needed, or you can pick it up from your local parts store. All right, comes with a gasket, a crush washer, and a canister filter. So let's uh, put it into the housing and screw it back on. If you notice here, there's a gasket right here um, in the middle. It's a little pain to take that off. You need a small screwdriver, and that's what this gasket would replace. So. Make sure it sits all the way around the groove and then you put the canister uh, in and it kind of locks in there. You basically push it down and turn and that kind of locks and it shouldn't come out. Now we just have to screw this back into its casing. Alright, we just put the filter back in the canister and turn it clockwise. <laughs> turn it snug and I think the torque rating is 28 uh, Newton meters but nice and tight till you crush the washer a little bit, not too much. Uh, should be good to go. Okay, stop spinning and that's it. So oil plug is installed, the canister filter is installed. All we have to do now is to make sure that we dump in enough oil in, in the engine. And the car takes a, a synthetic 5W30 oil and about uh, six quarts of it uh, so it'll be a five quart and a small one quart so we'll dump it here check the level and that would be the end of it we'll see slowly add so you don't have too much spill and make sure everything goes in we're counting five quarts on this plus one more quart from a single bottle all right now take the car to a level surface take it off the ramp so we can uh, measure how much oil is in here and also start the car so engine oil circulates now we see how much we have in this dipstick we came up to the low this is five plus one six quarts so we are right here i need more it's so like that 6.9 quarts uh they weren't kidding that is the correct probably the correct number so i'll add a few more and see if we get up to that level all right after adding uh 0.9 more quarts it's right on the line so we are good to go 6.9 quarts it took to fill this car and the oil change is done and I'll put the dipstick back on and run the car a little bit check underneath see if there's any leaks and we are done at that point all right so that's how we do an oil change on a Kia Sedona that is 2017 18 and up I believe uh, and Kia Sorento and all those other Kia 3.3 liter V6 engine. Right, I'll see you in the next video.